Stay tuned to the end of this video for a huge announcement. Hey everybody, we're at Temecula Creek in the golf course in Temecula in California and uh, at the Stonehouse Nine, so which is the, the best of them, I think. So anyway, we're going to play the, the next three holes. We're gonna play a little match, Chris, okay? Five strokes. So uh, I'll give Str uh, Chris, we'll play match play over the next three holes and I'll, and we'll start now with me being one down. Okay? Perfect. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. This is going to be a three hole match against Chris at Tim Hegula Creek. So Chris is about an eight handicap. He's a pilot and a friend of mine. All right, he just hit it, cut across it and it sliced. Uh, I guess you would call that like a major fade. Not a complete slice, but it, w it was not on the line he wanted to. So, so here I am, this is my, that's the uh, flamingo drill. And that blocked, oh, come join me. but um, it didn't cut. So I didn't, I had to run over to yeah, see, but it actually was, it's in a really good spot. There's the hole there. And this is a hazard and deep inside this thing is Chris. That's not your ball over there, is it Chris? No, it's right here. Okay. The jungle man. I've done this all day. So now I should say, should I just take a stroke penalty or should I? No, you're here. Anyway. Match play, so. Okay. You know, you can't make a million. You can only can, lose can the I, hole. Can I hit this in my back swing? Yes. Okay. Where'd it? It's right, right there. there. Yeah, 96 yards. Ball's a little bit above my feet, so I'm choking off on it. This is a 54 degree wedge, and uh, Chris is in serious trouble here, so I basically just need to not make a bogey and I'd be fine. It just felt perfect. Yeah, you're just showing off now. That's in the hole! Oh my god! Yeah, in the hole. All oh, right. show off. Well it's done. a good moment. All okay, right. eagle on. This is your second eagle on camera, right? It's it's a second eagle. regular eagle. 90 nice. Eagle. Thank That's you. Good job. There you go. Boom. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Why you got that on film? Felt good when yeah, I hit it, when too. You hit it, it yeah, yeah. Like, it came off the face. It's like, oh, that's going close. Yeah. Sweet. Nice. Nice. All right, the second ever hole out for Eagle. That was. That was awesome. What a thrill <laughs> to, uh, to do that, it's especially to catch it on camera, too. It was awesome. All right, moving on to the 147. The next hole, 147 yards. I have an 8-iron, which feels like a lot of club. So um, I'm walking him back to the, the maximum amount that I can. See, now you're just on a charge. No, that wasn't good. Get up, get up. That wasn't good. See, it landed a little short and rolled way back. See, this was my shot here. The target there, and you can see the club went this, so that was right off the toe. Okay, here goes Chris. Now the match is all square because I started one down. Golf shot, Chris. Great shot. All right, he's got a birdie putt. I absolutely have to get up and down for par to make him have to make his. So let me hit a very tidy little chip here. All right, well, this is golf for you because as soon as I made that eagle, I had a wet and tight lie going up the hill here and I was trying to hit a very high soft shot and trying not to chunk it. And of course I bladed it way over the back and Chris is sitting about 15 feet from the pin for birdie. Put it into a very thick clump of grass and made a horrible pass at it. And I have this putt for bogey. That's my new putter. Good leg putt. That's a double bogey. You got about four putts to win the hole, but don't use them all. Yeah, all right. So here's Chris for. His birdie. 
or three birdies. Great birdie, way to go. All right, we're on the final hole. It's a par five, 555 yards. Chris is one up after his birdie and my, that's golf. It'll be like yeah, no, <laughs> very high, extremely low. So, uh, all right, so par five, we are, we are downwind. So Chris, you have your Arcos thing, right? I do. So this will also be a little bit of a long drive hole as well. Well, I'm gonna concede the long drive. Oh, okay. So, so I gotta do something here. I think if I make birdie, I'd, I'd give myself a 50-50 chance of, of squaring it up. All right, so CB's one up at this point with the honor because of that birdie, but hit another wiping slice that hit halfway up the hill and then Should be all right, though. came Went down. Right there. He sliced it over there, but so that cost him quite a bit of distance. I had a really good feeling over this ball. So a little... I do better better when I just take those little mini flamingo drill feelings, and I'm, I've been watching Bernhard Langer swing a lot recently. Of course. To all the viewer, viewers out there, that was 300 yard perfect drive right down the middle. That was huge. It might be the, the longest drive I've ever hit on the track. Yeah. Probably 300 yard carry. The Arcos will tell us, right? Yeah, well. All right, cool. I'm laying up, I'm trying to do about a 200 yard shot. Okay. I think which is right about where we're Balls above my feet. So I'm a little uh, concerned about pulling it left. The, uh, well, tell me what you want to do. Don't tell me what you yeah, don't no, want to do. I want to play a little bit of a baby cut, but I don't really have a cut line. No, you don't. So I just want to advance it. Exactly. There you go. 180, 200 yards. Yep. Perfect. See, it was kind of a bad swing, but it was a good thought process. Yeah. So you got away, you got you away got with it. it. See, I'm getting in his head. All he, right. He was gonna lay up. He was gonna lay up. I don't hit this 220. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I... It doesn't look like 220. Maybe I was incorrect. No, it is. It's 222. Is it? Okay. To the flag. Flag is right. All right. You see Right there. You see that bank where the red stake is? Yes. Left of the bush, that's 200 yards. Okay. If it wasn't my hybrid, I wouldn't be trying. Great shot. Really great shot. Go. Wow. Very nice. Right. Very nice. One eighteen gap wedge. Sploosh. I can see. Fifth shot. Okay, putt for a bogey. You, you give up so hard on everything, and so early on everything you uh, Conceding early, give yeah. up on that one early. I hit it way too hard. Actually, you need a three by Yeah, so, come on, Brandon. Nice putt. Good, good. A good round. So. Nice course. I liked it. Hit the subscribe button below. And, um, oh, yeah, stay tuned. We have a big announcement right now.
Hey everybody, thanks for watching that. So recently you've heard me talk a lot about these things that are upcoming on the channel and uh, teasing all this different stuff. I didn't want to just put it out there until things looked a little bit more concrete. I have two things that I'm super excited about. Each one will probably have their own official announcement video, but at the end of this uh, short vlog video, I wanted to put them out. The first thing that I want to let you guys know about is uh, super exciting is I'm going to be doing a Be Better Golf two-day golf school with Tony Lutzak and 2014 World Long Drive Champion Jeff Flagg in Palm Springs at the end of February or beginning of March. Right now I'm in the process of trying to find a golf course to have it at. I think it'll be a ton of fun. It'll all be about the reactionary golf swing. Very, very small. It'll only probably be 10 to 14 people, uh, students. And uh, yeah, Tony's going to be leading the school and Jeff is going to be helping with some amazing fitness stuff and also with uh, building your guys' swing power and uh, just getting all around just better at golf. It's going to be a lot of fun. Two days of just constant on the range, on the course, chipping, putting, everything. It's going to be uh, a lot of fun. So if you're interested in that, uh, send an email and get put on the list now for it as I'm looking around for golf courses. The next thing, that's, that's going to be awesome. The next thing I wanted to let you guys know about is uh, I think some of you guys are going to absolutely flip out about this. The second huge announcement I have to make on this channel, I'm really super excited about it. This is probably going to be the most exciting thing I've ever put on the channel. Most of the stuff that's been on the channel has been instructional. Some of it has been uh, entertainment based. This is going to be almost all entertainment with a little bit of instruction, I guess, might, might be in there. But if you guys remember the old Shell's Wonderful World of Golf series that used to be out and then had a revival, well, it's not around anymore, but I want to revive it here on Be Better Golf. So what I'm going to be doing is I've been in deep discussions and negotiations, kind of like the Don King of uh, golf. I've been talking to Monty Scheinblum and George Gankus from GG Swing Tips about doing an 18 hole match against each other. Now this would be very much in the style of those Shell's wonderful world of golf matches. It'd be 18 holes, strict rules of golf, completely tournament rules of golf, and uh, they're going to be playing for a cash prize. I'm not sure exactly how much they'll be playing for, but they'll probably be pay playing for about $1,000. They're both so insanely busy. George now has eight guys on either the PGA Tour or Champions Tour or European Tour. Monty has already made it past first stage of Q School for the Champions Tour. So getting them both to be on the channel, I think they would probably do it anyway just for fun because they both really respect each other. But uh, to, I, I think it would be a lot more interesting if they're actually playing for money. Because I, I want it to be a very serious match, but I also want it to be um, fun. And maybe we'll get to learn some stuff. So 18 holes. Whatever golf course we do this at, I want it to be the nickname of the golf course to be the jungle. Because I want it to be the rumble in the jungle. I'm really, really looking forward to it. Monty versus GG Swing Tips. Who do you think will win this 18 hole battle? Stroke play at a golf course around the Southern California area. Who do, who do you think will win? And handicap this match for me already in kind of the betting way. It's really, I think it's going to be the golf match of the century. I mean, definitely the most anticipated golf match I'll watch. If you guys are excited about it, let me know. I really think it's going to be huge. I both have super high amount of respect for each other. And I think it'll be a lot of fun because both the guys are, are a ton of fun to be around and play with anyway. So I'm just, as you can tell, I'm super excited for this match between these two and uh, I think it's gonna be huge. So two big announcements, Be Better Golf School coming up at the end of February or early March and GG Swing Tips versus Monty Shine Bloom. The rumble in the jungle, the biggest, most anticipated golf match of the century. In negotiation, trying really hard to get a date and a, and a venue for these guys to play, but it's all coming up. It'll probably be in the next uh, month or two that we'll actually film it. So. Early, early going right now, but I just wanted to let you guys know that. All right, later. Bye.